Hi, I'm Greg Shockley, corporate chef for the Kansas City Steak Company. Today we're talking about our number one best-selling steak, the filet mignon. Now the filet mignon is cut from the beef tenderloin roast. It's known for its richness of flavor, but mostly its buttery, buttery texture. Now, we sell our filet mignons in three different ways. You can either get it wrapped with bacon or without, you can get it marinated or unseasoned, and you can get it with or without the bone. Any way you choose, you can't go wrong with this steak. Now, no matter what your preference, they're all gonna be Western Kansas corn-fed beef. It's gonna be aged 28 days. And as you can see, we've hand removed all the excess fat. So what you're left with is just this beautifully well-marbled filet mignon. Now, when you receive your steaks, they're gonna be shipped in a styrofoam box with dry ice. And you can see in each box, they're gonna be cryovac sealed to ensure the freshness. They'll all have a gourmet guide, which is a great reference guide and gives good grilling tips. Lastly, all unmarinated steaks are gonna come with a steak and prime rib seasoning, just to help bring out the natural flavor of the steaks. You wanna make sure that you thaw these overnight in your refrigerator. Right before you're ready to cook them, take them out about a half an hour before. That allows them to come up to room temperature. That'll help them cook evenly when they're on your grill. We've got our clean grill, we've got a hot grill. We've cranked our grill up to about 500 degrees. And with the filet mignon, you wanna make sure that you use a high dry heat. Because it has a low fat content and it's very tender, you don't wanna overcook these. So about medium rare is about as far as we recommend to go. So my grill's cranked up right here. We're gonna go ahead and put these on. I've got seasoning on both sides. You wanna make sure that you season all sides of the filet mignon right here so that you're bringing out all the natural flavors in every single bite. Now also notice, I've got a larger grill right here, so I've got one side that's gonna be hot and one side on medium. So later on, since this is a thick steak, I'm gonna move these over to the, the, the cooler side of the grill to allow them to continue to cook and they won't burn the outside of the steak. Okay, we're gonna take a look at our steaks now. Now remember, halfway through, I moved our steaks over to the medium side of our grill, just so they don't keep cooking on high heat. Now I'm looking for about 128 degrees. I like my steak about the medium rare side, and we don't really wanna go any further than that. So let's take a look. We're gonna stick our meat thermometer right in the center of the steak, just to ensure the internal temperature of the steak. And it looks like, uh, I think we're about there. We're about 120, 127 degrees, I think we're really good. So we're gonna take these out. One thing, make sure that you don't check your steaks with a knife. You don't wanna ever do that. You wanna use a meat thermometer to really check the, the real doneness. And one great key to keep in mind is that you let your steaks rest, just like all of our other steaks. You wanna make sure that about five or 10 minutes on a platter right here, they won't get cold, but it allows the natural juices to, to climb right back up into these steaks. For additional information, you can refer to our grilling video.